Artists are stupid. You have to understand. Artists are artists. One are insane, and then second, they're stupid. You can lock them in a closet and slide paper under the door. They'll slide it out with drawings on it, just so they can get more paper. People would look at it and go, "Wow, this is cool." I don't know who'd publish it. It still took 80 phone calls before I got a call back. Oh, my mom tells me I'm really good. Freelancing, I've been doing it for 25 years now, this year. It's scary because you don't get medical insurance and you don't have anyone looking out for you and your 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 job is up to you. And, you know, you're the one getting yourself work. And it's, I guess it's, it's pretty hard life to, I mean, I don't know any other way. So to me, it's just the way things are. But... And when I see my friends working in a, you know, like talented people, you know, making 120 grand a year and working for video game companies, but, but just every week they go back to that job and lose a little bit more of their soul because it's so, it's comfortable and they pay medical insurance and, and, they, and they have a nice apartment, they're not doing what they want to do. I mean, they're do, kind of doing what they want to do. But really, I know what that guy wants to do is he wants to draw comics, or he wants to draw his own book and create his own thing, and he can't do that because he doesn't, unless he does a page every two weeks, and it takes him, you know, five years to do it, which you should do that. Have the best of both worlds. I don't care if it takes you 30 years. Do that page every two, you know, whenever you can get one done. But I know how bad that guy wants to work on his own stuff, and he, and he can't. He can't. He can't pull away from the nipple. You know, and uh, not to mention, if he did that, he wouldn't make shit. Yeah, and, and well, and that, you know, the thing I don't worry about too is job security. Uh -huh. You know, because I've been like in charge of job security for 25 years. So, like these dudes that live in fear for their jobs, you know, like oh shit, what if I get fired next week and I don't get you know a, a two month severance package and then I gotta try to find another job? You know, my life's gonna come to an end. I don't have that stress in my life because I'm always I'm, I'm only. I've always been like, you know, one month ahead of not having work. Yeah, it hurt when I was asked to leave Hellblazer. You know, I mean, I was on the book for like 80, you know, like seven years. And they just wanted to change, you know, the sales were in the tank. And they just wanted to breathe new life into the book. And the only way to do that was to start with a new creative team, you know. And it was so funny because my editor couldn't tell me. He was trying to tell me, but he couldn't tell me. And I just read between the lines and I went you're trying to fire me aren't you <laughs> and he went yes <laughs> like a load went off his shoulders and I said well let me make it real easy for you dude I haven't finished with this book by a damn sight but I get it I'm having fun with this book I love this book it's my favorite thing to do every month it hurts but I get it so don't beat yourself up. I'm not mad at you. I'm not going to talk shit about you. I'm not going to tell everybody you suck. You know, <laughs> DC was a great family to be in, and, uh, and I wish I was. Uh, I wish uh, I was still working with them. Hopefully, I will. We'll do some more stuff together. Uh, but, but yeah, that one. You know, you can't let it wound your pride.